So now we have air in our back tires. How awesome is that? It's, sounds like it's going to get even more interesting after listening to the most recent TSR podcast. What's going on guys, it's Chad. Welcome back to my channel, the Dorky M40 RC channel. Big shout out to you guys in the community. We're over 7,000 subscribers now. If we hit 10,000 here, we're gonna do something really big. I've never done giveaways or nothing like that, but you guys all deserve it for being such loyal fans and provide, helping me provide like all this great content and motivate me to just do what I do for you guys. So in this video here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about balancing tires, breaking tires in, prepping them up, just getting tires all ready to go before we go out and use them. They're not the best when they're fresh out of the bag. So let's get started on that. Before we go out and do some testing, I thought I would show you guys a few things because I know a lot of you are really new not like i've been doing this forever i mean no prep has not been around for that long but i'm getting the tires prepped up and ready to go before we go out and test them and i just kind of wanted to show you guys what i do so let's take a look so the first thing we got going on here on the bench is we're doing some tire balancing i have a j concepts tire balancer here you could also use a Dubro propeller balancer for RC plane props, multi-rotor props, things like that. I have one here somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure where it's at. I just kind of got done remodeling things a little bit. Hope you guys like the way it looks. Hey, I, I found it. Let's take a look at it real quick, just in case you don't know what we're talking about. So this is it here. You got a couple pieces to the Dubro propeller balancer and you've got some really nice bearings inside here that these things spend you know i could stick a two and a half three gram propeller on this thing and it'll just spin and spin and spin and you get this whole like shaft collet with one side that's done and you completely just pull off all of the stuff here you've got an o-ring a spacer or some shock tubing or something like that. And what we're gonna do is just go ahead and slip it through the tire. And then we're gonna put everything right back on in the reverse order. So we need our spring, our washer, and then our compression tubing. Now we got the tire all, now we got the tire all solid on there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place it on the balancer and I'm just gonna basically spin it and you can see that it's just gonna rock back and forth and eventually it's gonna get to the heaviest spot which is gonna be here on the bottom where it ends up and we're gonna start adding weight to the inside of the tire. I'll show you how to do that here in the rest of the video. So yeah, this is a definite buy in my opinion. The J Concepts one is nice, but I think for half the price, this is definitely the way to go. Oh yeah, one more thing. Even though I only show doing this to the rear tires in this video, you also need to do this to your front tires as well. So don't forget to do that. All four tires you're going to want to balance. I'm gonna put a link to both of these in the description below. So far, I've been using the J Concepts one today for the first time, and I don't think it does any better of a job than my Dubro does. Uh, at The Dubro is probably almost about half the cost, so that's a win for everybody. So the reason you want to balance your tires is when you start getting some pretty good speeds or whatever, you're creating vibrations and resonance and stuff like that and it's gonna take speed away from your car. So one of the easiest things you could do is balance the rotational mass of your tires. Now, I do this with my planes and propellers and we would use super glue to do that because you don't need much weight. But when we're dealing with tires, you need something a little bit more. So if you look here on the bench, actually use modeling clay. This is like a big brick of it 
that I get off of Amazon. I'll put a link below to this in the description as well. And basically what you do is just kind of put this thing on your balancer. Let's pretend it's on the balancer. Let it rock back and forth. And let's say that this is the heavy side right here. Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply some of the clay to the opposite side. And you're kind of gonna go back and forth with this, adding material, removing material, so on and so forth, until you get it in a pretty good state where you can leave the tire almost in any position, or if it'll stay and not move, that's even better. And then you're balanced and you're ready to go. Now this is something that definitely helps. I wouldn't really go crazy and just sit here and dig out like piece by piece by piece to just make sure that my tire doesn't move unless I was just racing for all, all the marbles. But you know, it's pretty easy to get close. This stuff air dries, so it's not something that you're gonna wanna go out immediately and start using. And you're also gonna wanna make sure that your wheels are clean as well. If you're trying to do this to like dirty wheels, uh, the clay is not gonna stick to it very good. Uh, it takes maybe about an hour to harden up all the way, and then you're good to go. So I've done a pressure test on these with my handy little sphygmometer here that I built up. I got a link to this in the description as well. Now I'm gonna take these things out to the garage and chuck them up to the drill and I'm gonna sand away some of this seam line and kind of break these tires in. After that's done, we're gonna apply some prep to them and some heat and just condition the tires, get them ready to go. Everybody thinks that brand new tires out of the bag are the way to go when you first start. I realize that, but actually you wanna break these things in a little bit. Using a drill or something like that is a lot easier on your vehicle than just doing a bunch of burnouts and trying to like burn you know your seam off that you get here on the reactions so you don't want to go super crazy you just want to get some of it off there kind of scuff it up even if you wanted to you could use something like a sanding block or something like that and just go ahead and just start sanding the tire away a little bit but you can see that you know you're going to be in for just a little bit that i'm doing here you're going to be in for kind of a a slow and uh, and rough uh, go at it without using uh, some tools. So after we get those sanded down, knock that seam down a little bit and just knock the sheen off of that top layer, then what we're gonna do is we're going to prep these things. Now, you're gonna wanna clean them up again really good with like simple green, you're gonna wanna scrub them, get your hands a little dirty, all that kind of fun stuff, make you feel like a real man. And then you're gonna apply your preferred tire conditioner, tire break-in fluid, whatever it is that you use. I like to use Beetlejuice or I actually like the SXT brand of tire conditioner. It seems to work pretty good for me too. It leaves a little bit of a slimy texture, but once I break in the tires, then I just go ahead and clean it all off anyway and apply my prep and do the same thing again. You you saw in the video, just gonna use a little bit of heat with the warmers for about five minutes after you apply the prep and just let it bake in there and then go ahead and take them off, throw those babies in a Ziploc bag until they're ready for use. So once again, guys, links to everything that I used is down in the description below. I hope this taught you new people some stuff. I didn't invent any of these processes at all, but I can definitely vouch that these processes do work. You get way better traction out of your tires they work really good. They smell like nitro fuel, whatever you decide to use on them to break them in. It's all good stuff. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.